Mark Thiessen is a columnist for the Washington Post and a Fox News contributor. Mark, always great to see you. So in the airport, on the airplane, coming out of the ba in the bathroom, coming out of the bathroom. I mean, the president says it's all part of the process. Doesn't seem like a very fair process, Mark. Yeah, following a female senator into a bathroom and forcing her to uh, to hide in a stall is not part of the process. And the fact that Joe Biden couldn't bring himself to say that, I mean, it's just such an easy layup uh, to to uh, to appeal to Senator Cinema, and he still equivocated on that. But I, I think Senator Cinema is less upset about that than the fact that Joe Biden betrayed her. So if you remember back in June when the president announced the bipartisan deal, he also threatened to veto it. Remember that? And he, and, mm -hmm. and he had to issue a statement the next day walking back the veto threat and promising two things. One, that he would not link the infrastructure bill to the, to the rec massive reconciliation bill. And two, that he would fight with vigor to get the infrastructure bill passed. And he betrayed, but he, he betrayed her on both of those fronts. He, he went to co Congress and on Friday and told the House progressives that they had his blessing to block the bill until there was an infrastructure, until there was a reconciliation bill. And, and he also, we found out that the White House never lobbied the, the, the House progressives to, to lift their opposition to the bill. Ro Kahana, uh, who was on with Chris Wallace on Sunday, said, we told the White House, we'll do whatever the president wants, and no one asked me to pass the infrastructure bill. So Senator Sinema has been betrayed by the president of the United States. He, he broke both of those promises mm -hmm. that he made to her. And I think that's more upsetting than, than getting followed into a bathroom. Yeah, and some people have echoed that. We just want to note that we're waiting for the opening statements to begin in that hearing of the Facebook whistleblower. When that starts, we'll get to it. Mark, I want to put this up. This is from Wall Street Journal Bill McGurn. He said, quoting here, in the same way that John McCain was hailed as a principled independent for voting against key Republican priorities, including providing the decisive vote against repeal of Obamacare, if Ms. Cinema ends up tanking the reconciliation bill, those covering the story ought to at least have the grace to recognize there really is a new maverick in town that is countered by the New York Times, quoting, but what really makes her different from McCain is that nobody seems to know what she stands for. There's a difference, it turns out, between being a maverick and being a narcissist. Mark, your thoughts. Well, first of all, uh, Senator Sinema is representing her state, uh, and and if she if this is not what her constituents wanted, then she wouldn't be doing it. But second of all, you know, Joe Biden needs her vote to get the reconciliation bill through. She hasn't said no way, no how will I support any reconciliation bill. She just said three point five billion uh, trillion ain't, ain't happening. And does he think that killing that that siding with progressives and giving them the green light to hold her? infrastructure bill hostage is going to make her more amenable to voting for his no. reconciliation bill or less. You know, the, the, that's, that's, he, it's, it's, uh, it's backfiring. He's offending and betraying the one of, one of two senators without whose votes mm -hmm. he can't pass his legislative agenda. It's just incompetent. You know, the activists say, oh, yeah, well, we're only doing this because she's not available. She hasn't made herself available to us. And we know that that's, that's just not true. In fact, Cinema's statement said following this, the activist group that engaged in yesterday's behavior is one that both my team and I have met with several times since I was elected to the Senate. And I will continue engaging with Arizonans with diverse viewpoints to help inform my work for Arizona. This is the same group that she has, you know, she has bandied about with many, many times before. So to say that she's not available is just disingenuous. A hundred percent. And also the, the woman who followed her into the bathroom, who apparently I, I didn't realize was a, was a PhD, a professor, <laughs> you know, isn't smart enough to understand. She was, she was railing about the immigration provisions. Like the Senate parliamentarian mm -hmm. just ruled that it was against the Senate rules to include immigration in the bill. That's not Senator Cinema. Who's, who's doing that? There's nothing to do with it. So these people are completely uninformed. And look, these activists are never decisive in elections. No, no, no one is going to vote for Senator Sinema or against Senator Sinema because of these stunts. They're going to vote for her based on whether she does what the people of her state want uh, in Washington, D.C. Right. And they're also, by the way, harassing Joe Manchin. He was on a, a boat, in a paddling boat, and they came after him. You know, the, the president says this happens to everyone part of the process. Didn't happen to him, Mark. I mean, lastly, didn't happen to the president, ever. Yeah. Yeah, no, it, it, it doesn't happen to him. But as he said, I've got Secret Service. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Uh, so, look, I, I just don't understand how, I mean, the, the Biden administration's incompetence in handling this. He, he linked the bills, then he de-linked the bills, then he linked them again. 
and they're holding they're holding you know an infrastructure bill that is will be one of his great achievements as one of his number one priorities hostage in order to get another bill that's offending the people who, uh, who whose votes he need to get it. Why don't they just? They've already passed 1.9 trillion dollars in COVID relief, or, or social spending covered as COVID relief. Uh, the, the Republicans have offered them and given them a chance now for 1.2 trillion dollars in infrastructure spending. And Manchin has said that I'll support a billion, a trillion, 1.5 trillion. That's like 5.4 trillion dollars in spending. Why, how is that not good enough? And by right. the way, they could do another reconciliation bill next year. The election is in a month. It's in two, it's in a year. So they could they could do another reconciliation bill. Why not take what's sitting there on the table in front of you and and enact it, have a signing ceremony, bring everybody together at the White House, have Republicans and Democrats standing beside you and pr applauding you as a president ever needed to win more than Joe Biden and then go back to the table again next year and try to get more. It's just it's just it, it legislative incompetence. Yeah, and we should point out that a lot of that or most of that COVID money has not yet been spent. Mark Thiessen, always great to, always great to see you. Thank you, sir. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.